Wolfpack, this is an episode of Before You Buy, where today we have the Light Fighter 2 Catamount 2 Military Tent. This is a four season shelter. And in this episode, we will go through the setup process. I will show you how to set it up and we will discuss how easy it is to set it up or how complicated. This is a very important episode for anyone who is considering this tent. This is information that you need to know. And with that being the case, let's go ahead and begin this setup process. To start off, I will use my very own ground sheet, even though this tent does come with one. I want to go ahead and take out all the components and show those to you without them getting wet. Starting here with the compression sack, this is what I refer to as a burrito bag. You have two compression straps, you have a draw pull, it opens up just like that, and from there you can pull out the tent. This is an awesome setup. I have always liked burrito bags. This makes storing your tent and also getting it out very easy. You don't have to worry about rolling it up super tight and cramming it into a small bag. You can roll it, put it in, you can cinch it, and you're good to go. The first bag that I will talk about is this one here. It includes the tent stakes and also a repair sleeve for your tent poles. There are 16 tent stakes included with this tent. You receive a repair kit, and in this bag, you receive some snow anchors, also known as parachute stakes. You receive four of those. And additionally, you receive an instruction manual. Now everyone, we're moving over to the body and to the fly. Now check this out. This is one of the coolest features when it comes to this tent. You unroll it, you open it, and you will see that the fly is attached to the body. That's correct, everyone. This is a fly first design tent. If it's a windy day, go ahead and stake out the tent. Otherwise, you can move on to the poles. You have a ground sheet included with this tent. It does exactly as you would expect, plus a little bit more, which I will talk about in just a minute. Moving over to the poles. You have two windbreaker poles and you have the spider main body pole. Go ahead, put the poles together. As you are doing so, you will discover that these are some of the largest in diameter tent poles you have ever seen. They are impressive. Without a doubt, these poles were made for snow loading and wind. In other words, they are very strong poles. Once you have the spider pole put together, go ahead and lay it on top of the tent. Do this long ways. Now you can put together the two windbreaker poles and put them to the side. Now that the poles are ready to go, it's time to put them in their grommets in each of the corners. Use the farthest out grommet first, and as the tent stretches, as it's used, you can move them in if you need to. The next step is to walk around the body of the tent, taking all of the clips and connecting them to the poles. Along with the clips, everyone, you also have side connector grommets, which need to be connected to the poles, just like so. Do this on both sides, and finish up with the clips. Once the body has been clipped in, you need the two windbreaker poles, and they will go at the ends, the long ends, one on each side. At this point, you will see that you have grommets remaining on this tent. You have two on one side, two on the other side, three additional buckles waiting for you. You will take your windbreaker pole, you will slide it through this top grommet, go all the way through, staying underneath the spider poles. You will go through the next grommet and then slide it into the grommet next to the ground. Then go back to the side that you began on, put the pole in the grommet next to the ground. Lastly, connect the three fly buckles, then go to the other side and repeat.
The next step is to stake out the doors, also the sides. Then we will open up the vents and we're good to go. And everyone, just like that, the tent is set up. And I tell you what, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most complicated, one being the easiest, this is a three. This is a very easy tent to set up. In fact, everyone, I am impressed with just how easy it is to set up this tent. Most of the time when it comes to four season tents in general, they can be a pain to set up. Not even talking about military tents. Military tents do have a reputation for being troublesome, for taking a while to set up. And that's not the case with this one. When I first got this tent in, I was a little bit apprehensive about it because I figured it was going to be a complicated process, but luckily that is not the case with the Catamount 2. The fact that you could set up this tent with the Fly First is an awesome feature. This means you can set this up when it's snowing, when it's raining, and you don't have to worry about the inner getting wet. That is a huge pro for this tent. I have been in plenty of situations where I'm setting up my shelter, there's a winter storm taking place, and everything gets covered with snow and ice during the setup process. So you set it all up and then you have to dry things out, you have to shake things off. With this tent here, you don't have to worry about that. Before I say goodbye, I do want to talk about the additional setup that can be done with this tent. If you take the ground sheet, you can remove the inner and you can set up the tent that way. And you can have what they call a hasty hooch setup. Additionally, the tent can be set up even without the inner and the ground sheet if you're in the need for a simple, straightforward shelter. For this episode of Before You Buy with the Catamount 2 from Light Fighter, that is it. This is a very easy fourth season tent to set up. In fact, this is one of the easiest to set up four season tents that I own. It is very impressive in that regards. If you haven't seen the preview of this tent already, make sure to check out that episode because I go over all the stats and features of this tent and we take a very close look at the design and so on. So make sure to check out that episode. Also, make sure to pay close attention to the channel, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all that good stuff. A test night episode is coming up very soon. Now Wolfpack, it is time for you all to sound off in the comment section down below. What do you all think about Light Fighter as a company as a whole? What do you think about their military products? For myself, I'm a big fan. I really like their one person tent with the windbreaker system, the four season conversion kit. It really works well. If you haven't seen my overnight adventure with that tent and that setup, I was camping in brutal conditions and that tent handled it with no problem at all. With this tent here, I'm excited to see how well it performs and the test night episodes will be coming up soon, and ultimately, my review. So everyone, sound off in the comments. Take care, I'll talk to you soon. Strength and honor. See you, everybody. <laughs>